All right, so what's been the talk amongst the group trying to reverse these last couple of losses? Um, yeah, we were really positive. Uh, obviously in Perth wasn't the, the result we would have liked. Um, that was very under par for us. And then, you know, the Renegades game could have gone either way. So, you know, Christian and Arby played really well. And for the majority of that game, we were in the box seat. So we're still playing some really good cricket. Um, you know, we, we're really excited to get out there tomorrow night in front of a full house. And um, I don't want to jinx us, but we haven't lost one of these these fixtures yet. So, you know, we're really excited to, to play against Thunder, who are playing really good cricket. And, um, you know, you go across to this, like um, Rash is bowling really well, Weathers is hitting the ball really well at the top, and um, all that guys are really excited to get out there. I mean, you touched on it, um, Rash couldn't do, can't do much more. But uh, the rest of your bowlers, is there a bit of a message to tighten up? Um, no, obviously, yeah, no, you throw the ball to Rash when we're in trouble, but um, big Billy Stanlake bowled really well over in Perth. Nessa, you know, swings the ball. Um, so he's, you know, likely to, to take the new ball tomorrow night and, and hopefully nick off Butler and these guys at the top of the order. Um, hopefully Siddle comes back and play. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's in the squad. So, uh, you know, our bowling attack's been fantastic over the last probably um, two years. Yeah, we really settled up there. We obviously got Lachlan and Cam Valenti's coming in and done a job. You know, it would have been nice to, like I said, run through Renegades the other night. We had a really good opportunity with the ball there and um, the other night there just wasn't enough runs. Are you confident that the batting group has what it takes? I mean, it's been a bit of a lean patch recently. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we chased down 140, which was a really good um, result first game and then putting 176 on the board you know that's that's enough runs out here for for us and um you know the other night just you know it wasn't wasn't our night so you know like i said we've we've got some really experienced batsmen at the top of the list with you know weathers is, is so exciting to watch and um ingram's the same matt short come in and made 60 and john o wells has played really well as well so you know we're we're still really positive and has there been much talk about the running between the wickets no, nah, it's, you know, it's obviously one of those things in T20 cricket. It's quite loud and a lot's happening. So um, tomorrow night, loud calls. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much of an advantage is it playing here on New Year's Eve? It's, yeah. it's a bit of a marquee game now. Yeah. Oh, it is. And all the boys that come across interstate can't wait to get out and play. You know, I think it draws a lot of the, the interstate players to come and play for the strikers. It's, it's that exciting. Um, having 45,000 Adelaide striker fans. Um, we've got a good record on this night. We, we know how exciting it is. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be another another big night for us. Like I said, Siddle's back. Um, Rash is in really good form with the ball. Our, our batters are really excited to get out and, um, and you know, make up for that result over in Perth. Must be nice to get Sid's back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the first game in, in Brisbane, he bowled really well for two overs and you know went for eight runs. Uh, last year we saw how good he was and uh, we know how good a bloke he is around the group as well. He, he's always got a big smile on his face and um, he brings a lot of energy to the group. So yeah, it'd be great to, to have him back. And um, you know, like I said, all the boys are, are pretty pumped.